Oh boy, it has been how many weeks? Two? Three? But yeah, I'm back and coming back at a great time because we have five chapters left of My Hero Academia and this final chapter from what we're seeing from the leaks and the spoilers is going to finish up the Todoroki family plotline. Yeah, let's talk about it. Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy, Manga Mandrew, and I'm here to cover the leaks and the spoilers for My Hero Academia Manga Chapter 426. Yes, as I said in the intro, this is the final five chapters of My Hero Academia. If you didn't see the video that I posted earlier on, that kind of explains the gist of what's happening. We're going to have five more chapters, after, including this one, and from there, My Hero Academia is going to be ending. Sad news all around. But let's not dwell on the sadness of My Hero Academia ending. Let's dwell on the sadness that is the hellish Todoroki family finale. So let's just dive right into the leaks and spoilers and really talk about what's going to be in this chapter. And the chapter begins with the entire family reunited. The entire Todoroki family reunited. Rei has serious burns on her face, Fuyumi has a few, Natsu got a haircut, and Inji is all bandaged up. Fuyumi says that Shoto didn't have to come, Rei says that none of the kids did, and Inji says that Rei didn't either. So they're all here because they're all a part of the Todoroki family and they all said that they were going to do this. So it's cool that we're getting that established now, but what we see for the next part is that Shoto says that he has to come to fulfill his mission and that the same goes for the rest of the family, like I was saying. Inji says that since before the war, he had been planning to talk to Toya, but now in the state that he's in, he can't get around on his own. The hero endeavor burned to death. And just as a slight change uh, from what we're getting, we are getting around 15 pages. But this excerpt comes from two pages that we do not have the full text for at this moment. But all I can say is that from pages two and three, there's a doctor who basically says that Davi is slowly heading to his death and that Inji is telling him that he is retiring. This is pretty much what we're going to be getting for those two pages, unfortunately. But just tying from there, the next part of the text below is from this moment, you have Toya replying to Endeavor saying, Oh really? My condolences. Giving me all your attention after everything is over is easy, you coward. Inji agrees and says that Toya understands him very well. After all, he's been watching him this whole time and wanted his father to do the same. During this conversation, we see several flashbacks of Toya. Although Deku said that Dobby isn't the Endeavor, Inji says that this doesn't change the fact that his son's flames come from Hell Flame. He's been watching Toya's reveal episode every day. So let's talk every day from now on. I know it took me too long, but I want to talk to you. In this panel, Endeavor is drawn without the bandages, and Dobby is drawn like a young Toya, but still has the Dobby scars. We hear the sound of Toya's heartbeat measure device. You can hate me all you want. Say it all to me. Fuyumi and Rei also say that they want to talk to him about many things, but the employee from the facility says that they should stop for today so as to not burden his heart too much. Shoto, can I ask him just one thing? What's your favorite food? He remains silent and everyone starts to leave, but Toya then replies, Soba. Shoto says, same. And Toya starts crying and calling his brother's name as he remembers their fight and Shoto's saying that their paths will cross even if by force. Shoto, I'm sorry. So, there's a lot to really go over with this part of the text spoilers. We're seeing that finally Endeavor is finally talking with Toya and we're getting the confirmation that the individual in the device was very much Toya as well as we get to see the damages that have happened to the Todoroki family and how they're most likely going to be having lasting scars from this moment but we see that Endeavor is talking to Toya and that Toya is still somehow alive. However, he's on the path to death, but he may not be dying anytime soon, as long as you know his heart is still beating and they just don't overwork him. So 
this is very cool. This is just tying into more of like how Endeavor is going to be paying for his sins and how he's finally seeing his son, as well as them having the conversation of them sharing the same like love of Soba, which tracks with them being just siblings of the Todoroki family. So just all of this is a little bit more adding emotion to the conclusion of this entire plot line, and it's not going to end just here. But with the next part of the tech spoilers, we have Natsu saying after leaving this facility that he's not going to meet Inji anymore. He's going to marry his girlfriend and they won't have a ceremony and he has no intention of introducing her to his father. Inji says that he completely understands and apologizes once again. Fuyumi quit her job, but the mother of one of her students found her a new one. Natsu says that Inji has already taken responsibility and can stop now, but he says that he intends to pay and apologize for his crimes for the rest of his life. Inji says that his kids no longer need to be in contact with him and that he will do everything he can to ensure that none of them suffer the consequences of the whole Dobby scandal. That's why he survived the war. Natsu says that he's going to face hell, but Inji replies saying that obvious since he accepted Toya's invitation to dance. That's the first time in my life I've ever thought you were cool, and that's coming from Natsu. Shoto gets in Natsu's car to go back to school and tells Inji and Rei that he'll be fine with Class 1A. He's becoming who he wants to be. Endeavor's sidekicks arrive, and Rei says, even if it's hell, some people are still here with us, as she shows a text from Hawks. Ox is talking to Nagin as he's shocked to hear that she wants to stay in prison for a while because she's afraid of being used again. He says he wanted her help and Nagin says that they have to see how society will respond to what Midoriya showed everyone that day. So yeah, this is kind of the conclusion to the Todoroki family plotline. And I can dive into my feelings about this a little bit more in the review proper, but from this, this seems to be a very nice ending for it. We get to show that Todoroki Shoto is still okay with what's going on, that he's still going to be with Class 1A or 2A, that Natsu still has resentment and hasn't forgiven Endeavor, but is a little bit less like just pure hatred against him by just giving him a singular compliment. As well as beginning to see how the other family members are going to like deal with this entire Dobby thing and how most likely than not if anything else is established with a Dobby and the consequences that come from Dobby, Endeavor is going to be the only one to take them all upon himself. So I want to see like where that may be going within the next five chapters but who's to say maybe it's just to kind of like show that this is still something that is going to be addressed and that even if we don't get it addressed like in the actual manga proper that is still something that he's going to be going through within the manga itself that we may not see. As well as we get Hawks talking to Lady Nagant, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about this once we finish up the finale of the tech spoilers. And with the final part of the tech spoilers, we do have, from what I'm seeing, some information that was repeated. So I won't repeat it again, but I'll go over the new information in the final part of the tech spoilers. And Hawks is asked about how the conversation with Toya went and says that if they have any requests, they just need to ask him. Then we have exactly what Hawks said to Lady Nagant and... He talked about Midoriya and how she's still going to stay in prison. And then you just have Nagant joking that she'll be eating food funded by people's taxes for a while longer. And Hot sticks his tongue out and calls her a villain. We see Gentle and Labrava shouting each other's names as they cry and the Gorilla Cops saying that their help has been officially recognized so they're free now. Back to Hawks and Ray answers the text saying that he must be busy as the new president of the of the Hero Public Safety Commission. Hawks asks himself how things will change from now on and calls Mera on the phone. In the last panel, we see Spinner unconscious in a hospital bed and the doctor to his room opening the door. End of chapter. So yeah, that was a, actually a very interesting development when it comes to what's happening between Hawks as well as Lady Nagin and the reveal that now Hawks is the president of the Hero Public Safety Commission. So there is some stuff that is answered. I'm glad that we're getting them now. And we're seeing that while there isn't any like grand consequences of death, that the characters are facing some type of negative consequences and are most likely still going to have some form of punishment for their actions, whether or not it was self-imposed or due to the system itself. 
and the hinting that potentially Spinner is still alive is something interesting, which could be leading to what the next few chapters are going to be about. Having the students focusing on the rehabilitation or just the conclusions of what's happening with the villains that are still alive or just dealing with the consequences of having with the war when it comes to the villains. So with next chapter, we're potentially going to get maybe Deku and Spinner having a conversation and maybe Shoji's gonna show up as well. But yeah, that's pretty much all we have for the leaks and the spoilers for this video. So let me ask you this. How do you feel about the ending of the Todoroki family plotline? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Leave your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this because I will be covering the spoilers for the remaining chapters of My Hero Academia when they come out. So do all that cool jazz and hopefully I'll be able to catch you in my next video. Goodbye!